Okay, I'm just gonna say it right now. I'm pretty sure that every single one of y'all is in cahoots with Jimmy. Okay, cause this, that, this, that, am I pointing in the right spot? F I hope so. Is the only way that I can explain those shits right there is if y'all and Jimmy be scheming together. I see y'all! Ah! <laughs> what is up, everybody? My name is Dom, and this is part six! Fuck six! Of At the Dead of Night. The reason there was that little awkward pause there is because I was trying to think of how many fingers to hold up. Don't put me on blast, you sons of bitches. Y'all, today we are obviously back and playing some more At the Dead of Night. I know I just said that, but I just said it again because I'm a bad YouTuber. I don't have anything else to say. Let's jump right into this shit. Except 6,500. Yeah, 500 more, bitches. I ain't fucking around. 6,500 likes on this video if y'all want another episode of this shit ASAP. Okay, and if my theory is right, about y'all being in cahoots with Jimmy? <laughs> Fuck y'all! Stop! Real talk, run the shit! 6,500 likes, I'll drop another episode of this shit as quickly as I can get it done. Appreciate y'all, love y'all, let's run the bitch. Let's motherfucking go! Woo! Oh my god, bitch, sorry. Woo! Okay, y'all, here we go! Here we go. I did not expect for the first cutscene to be me waking up dead. Okay, sorry, I didn't see that shit coming. It had me a little perplexed and slightly blown away. Let me look at the fucking mirror real quick. It's probably gonna show me where to get the box at. It is. Okay, fucking annoying as usual. All right, let me go to floor one and get the box. Now, if I'm not mistaken, we should be on the third floor. Although when I just looked through the peephole, it did not look like the third floor to me. So maybe by, oh, this is the third floor. I saw the blue carpet on the bitch. I've never been up here. Kinda wish I still wasn't. Why the fuck? Go! Get the fuck out of here! Okay! Dude, if Jimmy chokes slams me waiting for the elevator, this bitch take a long time to get up to the third floor. Go right now, go right now, go right now, go right now! Okay, dude, I am scared of everything now. I am legitimately scared of basically everything in this fucking game because I've been jump scared in spots I didn't know you could be jump scared. Okay, that bitch with his dead rabbit, fuck you! That little bitch with her flaming teddy bear, fuck you! And of course, a big fuck you to Jimmy too. <laughs> Damn, that was an unintentional rhyme. I guess I'm just the best, bitches. Okay, check the keyhole. No Jimmy, get the fuck out. Get the fuck out! Get the fuck out! Oh, it's a timed thing. Okay, it's definitely a timed thing. Because I couldn't click out, it just made me leave when the timer was up. Okay, let me get this. Now, should I try and talk to the doc or should I fuck off? I don't remember where I need to go. Let me lock this. All right, let me stop playing around real quick. Let me stop playing around. Bit bop, bibbity bop, bitch! Okay, all right, now let me look in here. Let me see what the new updated shits is. Okay. I, Cause I really don't remember y'all. It was a day or two ago when I last recorded that episode. And so I need a little refresher. Okay, here go Amy. She crying, crying as usual. Does Amy ever do anything but cry? Oh, I'm serious. Oh my, dumb. She's a little girl, don't be toxic. You're right, 112, I like that. See, I like this energy. It gives me a room number. It tells me exactly where I need to be and when I need to be there. And saves me a lot of time. Now here go the dock. Am I gonna see that crusty ass piece of bread again? I am. There it is. Whole wheat, motherfuckers. Get your hearty grains. Hell no. Okay, so let me ask the doc about this piece of bread, okay? Because he really does like showing me that. In the whatever the fuck these are. These flashbacks, flash forwards, flash current time. Tom, just stop talking. Okay, alright. Alright, now let me see if I can say something to the doc. Is he on here? Please, bitch. There? Last time I pissed him off. Hello? Okay, let me be strategic with my shit this time. Yes, I'm Dr. Bose. Because I was definitely throwing in the first uh, installment of this shit. Okay, I really was. So let me throw the chef's hat up, and then let me figure out which one of these could possibly match with that. I don't have a piece of bread. Okay, I don't have a piece of bread in my shit, so like, come on. What does the piece of... Bread connect to. Ah, I'm sure I don't know. Maybe he tried to cook the piece of bread on the heater. That's why it got crusty. I saw Amy outside a oh. room. Something frightened her. Oh, I didn't know I could what still ask. It? I don't know. 
Oh my god, this bitch already going static zone. I've already asked him about this. Okay, let me make sure there's nothing new to inquire about. Okay, there's not. Okay, everything else goes into the shits. Okay, right. So let me figure out. Dude, it's gotta be something with the chef's hat. It has to be. They really have showed me that piece of bread like 700 times, and if I don't ask something about it, I'm pissed. When you said Jimmy came up with an idea to do something nice for you, is that connected to what you said about the chef's hat? Please. Yes. Jimmy said he'd make something for me, so I followed him to see what he was going to do. Make you a ticket to hell?! Oh my god, okay, so that was the connection. Sorry, I did the chef's hat with the dead rabbit. That's the connection I put together. And now I can do something on the ground floor. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God! I love seeing that G, the letter G on those flashbacks because that means I can go to a safe zone. And y'all know, I love me a safe zone. Now, I'm also supposed to be going- Is anyone there? To room 112. That flashback showed me. But 112 isn't safe, and the ground floor is safe. Let me just look one more time and make sure that there's nothing else new to see. Seriously. Seriously with Jimmy's creeping around, bitch. Look at he creeping from the bottom, he creeping from the top. Jimmy creeping all over the motherfucking place. How did this bitch run a successful business for this long? Okay, it makes no sense to me. Jimmy does not seem like he has any kind of business intellect. I am serious. Okay, there go 112. Is that the only thing that I can see? Oh no, I'm gonna see Dr. Bose in the G probably. Is that Dr. Bose? I'm sure this does not look like that guy we saw knocking on the door, okay? That guy looked like a priest. Maybe just me. But all I'm saying is, I'm not getting Dr. Bose energy from that motherfucker right now. Now, here's what I'm thinking. I'm going to the ground floor first. Why? Because there's a staircase directly across from where I'm at right now, and that seems like the safest move. Plus, I've been dilly-dallying on this floor for a minute, and I feel like Jimmy might be sweating. So it might be time for me to motherfucking bounce. Okay, let me unlock. And possibly get tossed. This is the most dangerous intersection in the whole fucking game right here. Okay. Go to the stairs. Go. Open. Yes! Okay, so Jimmy does not have a key for the stairs, it would seem. Because otherwise, he would have relocked that bitch and I would have got suplex trying to open it, okay? But Jimmy, a low IQ gamer. And therefore, he's ass! Okay, let me find out what I'm looking for on this floor. My compass does work. And it looks like maybe it's pointing straight. Let me wait and see if I get a cutscene, no cutscene. Maybe a cutscene here, no cutscene. Okay, let me look in here. Is this cutscene zone or is it in the kitchen? Pretty sure that's pointing to the kitchen. Okay, let's go see what happened to Dr. Bose in the kitchen. Jim, Jim, Jim A was doing some cook, cook, cook in. Cutscene? Still no cutscene. It's gotta be in the kitchen. Watch out, watch out, watch out! No cutscene to scare the shit out of me. Are you serious? I'm gonna be honest, that has me stunned. High energy state, this isn't good. This bitch blowing out the fucking speaker is shit. I need to see something. Let me see something. <laughs> oh, you Is fucking asshole! Idea, Jimmy. I reckon you'll make a great cook one day. Oh, why don't you bring it up to me when you're done? I'll wait for you, okay? Bro, why Dr. Bose got on a lanyard like he's attending a fucking conference? Are you kidding me? The only conference- Dom, I was gonna say something about a conference in hell, but I've- <laughs> That joke is played out. Okay, let me let it- let me let it go. So Dr. Bose came down here, said he wanted to see what Jimmy was cooking, saw what Jimmy was cooking, and then he fucked off back up to his room and told Jimmy to bring it to him. Now let's find out why he did that. Is it Dr. Bose? It better be, bitch! Hello? Okay, all right, that's not what I asked you. Is it Dr. Bose? I can't hear you. Are you fucking kidding me? What do you mean you can't hear me, asshole? Is it Dr. Bose? Hello? This guy's fucking annoying! So wait a minute, he's not in a high energy state, but I can't hear him. Oh, look, my pointer's moved. Watch out for another jump scare, bitches. Right here? It says straight ahead. Oh! Wait. No, 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 I think it's right here then. Is this unlocked? No, that would have bamboozled me. That would have made no sense. Let me try and talk to him right here. Is it Dr. Bose? I'm Dr. Bose. 
this motherfucker really couldn't have floated another two feet in the nether realm? Are you kidding me? I was in the other room, like four inches away, and he couldn't hear me. So I had to walk over here. Dr. Bo's a needy son of a bitch. Doc! Sorry, Doc, tell me something I didn't know. I saw you outside the kitchen talking to Jimmy. What were you doing? Jimmy was making me a sandwich. He brought it up to my room as I asked. I didn't suspect anything was wrong at first. You didn't suspect that a psychopath would make you a poison sandwich? Where did this guy get his PhD? They owe me like four! Okay, because my IQ be six times as high as this motherfucker's. I am serious. Okay, let's see. I'm thinking that the blood-stained cloth and the sandwich go together. Dr. Bo's coughed in that shit after he ate fucking Jimmy's sandwich because Jimmy poisoned him. Because Jimmy's a crazy fuck. When you said you didn't suspect anything was wrong, does that have something <laughs> to do with the blood-stained cloth? Yes. It has to. It was my first encounter with Jimmy's sense of humor. God, I'm good! Holy shit, Sherlock Holmes is a bitch! Wait, that's a hammer. And some bloody hands. What the fuck kind of sandwich did Jimmy make? Wow, okay, wait, two things just happened, and I gotta be honest, I was too busy talking shit and didn't know what the fuck happened. I'm gonna have to watch that again, because I was not paying attention. Hello? I'm assuming he told me to fuck off. Yeah, he did. So, was the bloodstained cloth not from Dr. Bo's eating a poison sandwich? I'm not really sure I entirely followed that. Wait, let me look, let me look, let me look. Looking at this, like, super often is definitely the move. I think that that's what I've determined. So I still gotta do something on, on floor 1, 112. But is there something else on the first floor I'm looking for? I think there is. Oh, it actually took away the room number. That's fucked. Okay, I'm glad I was paying attention. So it's 112 that I'm going to for that. But I think Dr. Bo's got something on the first floor too, or am I wrong? Also on floor one. But then here's the one that I wasn't paying attention to. Who the fuck is Smiles? Okay, somebody's smiling right there. That does not look like Dr. Bose. But to be fair, neither does that other motherfucker. So it could be Dr. Bose. And that bitch on floor three. Okay, so they're really getting excited with these flashbacks, bitches. There's three different shits occurring in the flashbacks. And I don't really know that I co-sign on it. So let me go ahead. Make it up to the first floor, we're gonna get started there, okay? Because there's two shits happening on the first floor, and only one shit happening on the third floor. So it only makes sense that we start where there's more bullshit happening. Not gonna get jump scared by the post? Okay, y'all see me, I'm popping off. Okay, let me turn. And let me get moving. Which way is 112? Is it to the right or the left? I wanna say it's to the right, let me be careful. Jimmy, please, you bitch. Dude, there's water running in there, why? Jimmy taking a piss? Why would the water be running? Where the fuck is 112? Speed run it down. 107. Is 112 up this way? Bitch. It is. Clear! Please be open. Yes, you fuck! Okay, this is where I need to be. Watch out! Listen, y'all, watch out for a jump scare in this room. Y'all know how these shits go now. Okay, we've learned our lesson. I've changed my underwear three times recording these fucking videos. It ain't gonna get me again, bitch. Here comes a manifestation. Now. No. Now. No. Now. Down. A wooden paddle or beater. Did he spank Dr. Bowes? I don't really know where this is going. Watch out. Don't turn around yet. Search here. What's this a key for? 112? Yes! Okay! Now we can put another scheme into progress. Bottles of whiskey and other spirits. Okay, but watch out, because you know there's going to be some jump scare bullshit right now. Yeah! Bitch, I knew it! Wait a minute. Jimmy got Amy drinking whiskey? Is that what I just saw? That looked like Amy drinking a shot of whiskey. What the fuck? Oh, so Jimmy out of control, out of control. Okay, wait a minute. Hit the, hit the, hit the device. Is it Amy? Amy, I saw you sipping on a whiskey. Yeah, I'm Amy. Okay. So let's see. I saw you drinking something. 
You didn't seem to like it. Amy drinking something horrible is, is the caption. <laughs> I mean... Why was there a collection of whiskey bottles in one of the rooms? I don't know. But children shouldn't drink alcohol. Oh my god, she's a certified brainiac! Da! Okay, seriously, stop talking shit. Okay. Where did right. the wooden paddle come from? Okay, so he was definitely spanking Dr. Bose. I'm serious. I'm pretty sure that's where that's going. And this game, this game freaky enough for that to be a real thing. I saw Dr. Bose outside the kitchen talking to Jimmy. What was he doing? Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Okay, okay, okay. I'm fucking up. I'm fucking up. Voice vaguely heard. That's not good. I need to put these two shits together before I fuck up. She, he definitely gave her the whiskey, 100%. When you said the medicine tasted horrible, does that have anything to do with what you said about the whiskey bottles? Come in clear, come in clear as day. Maybe. She told me to keep drinking it. It was horrible. But then I started to feel strange. Bro, Jimmy has certified psychopath. What the fuck? Oh, that's a stairwell. And there's somebody in it. I don't know who the fuck that was. Okay, right. So Amy told me to fuck off. But I definitely got the info that I needed. Okay, which is good. Also, I'm about to put another plan into action that could potentially result in my untimely demise. And by potentially, I mean 90% likelihood. Here's the plan. Last time y'all saw me trying to deadbolt the door with Jimmy's motherfucking ass in the room. I fucked up, he kicked the shit in and railed me. Okay, we know that, we don't have to relive it, fuck you if you want to. Listen, I know where I fucked up, and I know that because somebody left me what I perceive to be a high IQ tip down below in the comment section, and that is that if Jimmy comes into a room where the lights are on, like they are here, the theory goes that because the lights are on, Jimmy can see you hiding in the bathroom. Now, I'm pretty sure Jimmy's out there talking to himself. Fucking idiot. Da. Okay. So anyway, the, the theory goes that because the light is on, Jimmy can see you in the bathroom. So what you need to do is if the room has lights on, is hide in the wardrobe, not the bathroom. Now, I'm not sure if that's a real theory. That seems kind of cracked to me. But the second part of the theory went like this. That if you're hiding in the wardrobe, Jimmy will go into the bathroom searching for you. And that's your chance to make a run for it. Run for the door. Get outside. Close the shits, lock it, deadbolt that bitch, and lock this motherfucker inside. So, that's the plan we're about to put into action right now. But, I also want to mention that a different person had a comment that apparently Jimmy can hide in the bathroom and jump scare you when you're trying to run for the door. So that makes it about a 50-50 chance that we go out and lock Jimmy in, or a 50-50 chance that we get railed by Jimmy when he comes out of the bathroom. Which one will it be? Only time will tell. Let's find out. Jimmy, bring that stupid ass here, you fuck! Hey! Okay, let me piss off Jimmy. Oh, buddy, he's right here. Okay, he's literally right here. Watch out. Okay, get ready, Dom. Don't fuck about, don't misclick. Dude, Jimmy sounded like he was standing outside the door when I yelled, bitch. Where in the flying fuck is he? Jimmy! <laughs> Dude, I'm gonna have to yell again. Jimmy, come on, you fuck. I'm here. Okay. Let me see. No, see, it sounds like he's a long ways away now. <gasps> Dude, what if he rails me in the wardrobe, too? God, this plane could not be any stupider. I've literally done this shit before, and I got railed last time. So why am I doing it again? Because I'm a dumb bitch. Fuck you. Oh, there he is. Okay, so there go home slickety slice. He's now in the neighborhood. Let me solidify this shit. Down here. Dude, I'm still not certain he can't kick that shit in. Let me see that door handle jiggle, bitch. Do I gotta look in here to see it? I don't know what the fuck to do. Hey, Jimmy! What is this motherfucker doing, bitch? I'm trying to lock you in here. Don't you know it? He probably does. That's why I'm about to get flexed. Give it a five or one. That's not five. Five. This way. I don't like that shit at all. How is he further away? 
That's four, that's four yells from the same room. That has got to be one of the stupider fucking things I've ever done in my lifetime. Dude, hurry the fuck up, Jimmy. Okay, this is good. He's right here. Come on! How the fuck did he walk from the right to the left and he just walked from the right to the left again without ever going back by? Jimmy? Dude, if he doesn't come here right fucking now, I'm raging. Come on, bitch! Oh my god, is he gonna jiggle the door handle or not? I'm literally gonna get suplexed. I might just click yell until he comes through. I'm pretty sure this plan is bulletproof. And by bulletproof, I mean like has a 15% likelihood of working. Hey! He's gonna kick the door in on my motherfucking ass! I'm here! This could not be stupider. This could not be the stupider. The stupider? Look, I can't even talk anymore. What the fuck is he doing? Ah! Oh my god, this motherfucker knows I'm here! And he always goes off to the left! What the fuck is happening off to the left that he won't come in here? Down here. There must be a carnival happening down there. I'm serious. Seriously. What the flying fuck is happening? Oh, I'm fucked, dude. Look at, look at this guy. Are you serious? <laughs> come on, get a hobby. I don't think he's coming in. I'm gonna try two more yells and if he doesn't come in, clearly this plan is a wash. This way. I think he knows I'm gonna hide in the wardrobe. This bitch know I'm gonna pop off. Let me do it again, I'm a dumb bitch. Jimmy? Bro, he knows I'm a fucking god. I'm gonna get tossed. Dude, I'm gonna leave this room and get tossed. Instantly. All right, let me try something real quick. See, the other option is come across Jimmy in the hallway and then hide in this room. That might be the only option that I have left. Because right now, he ain't coming through. I mean, literally, I don't know what else I could do to get him in this room. He don't fuck with me. But I really want to try the lock this bitch in the room strat. I just don't want to die doing it. Okay, he's a long ways off. Here's what I need to do. First of all, there's... Okay, there it is. Here's what I'm going to do. Watch. Fuck! Not what I... Not the button I tried to click. He, he's, he sounds like he's a little ways off. Oh my god, please tell me that's true. Jimmy? One of these is a dead end. I think this way is a dead end. Okay, good. I'm just verifying that there's nobody here. Now, here's the plan. I'm gonna shout to Jimmy. Hey! Because there's no way he could be behind me. Once I see him come up to the... Once I see him come up to the corner, I'm gonna turn and go in the room. Watch, this plan is bulletproof. I'm here. Get ready, dumb. Get ready, dumb. Jimmy, where the fuck you at, bitch? Jimmy, where the fuck you at, bitch? Down here. Come on, motherfucker. Play, play the music, play the music. <laughs> That's this what the way. music sound like, by the way. Come on, asshole. This is a one-way street. He's got to show up right here. Jimmy? Jimmy! You fuck! Oh, I'm going to get railed. The more times I click shout, the scarier this game gets. Hey. Is this real life? Where the fuck is... I think I got to move for this shit to trigger. Now, if I go up there, am I railed? Probably. Almost certainly, actually. I'm here. This way. Dude, this isn't working. Oh, my God, dude. This plan is so fucking stupid. Okay, okay. I heard it. Oh, okay. Good. Go, 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 go. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, here we go. Here we go. It's all or nothing, assholes. Wait. I need to hear him go into the bathroom. Okay, do you see how I have the return to room option? No fucking way he knows I'm in here. The first door close I hear will be him going into the bathroom here in a sec. Look at this fucking guy, dude. No, bitch! No, bitch! No, bitch! No! Okay, wait. The first one's Jimmy going into the bathroom. The second one is him leaving the room. Go. Okay, pretty sure he's in the bathroom. No! That's not what I meant to click! Fucked. I'm fucked. Okay, I need to lock him in. He's still in the bathroom. Did that work? No. Yeah. I don't know if that worked or not. Oh my god, I gotta get to the third floor. Is he locked in? Am I popping off or am I throwing? There's water running in the bathroom. Not where I tried to go, bitch. Right here. Turn. Go in. Watch out for a jump scare. There's gotta be something right here. Okay, there's some ghost activity in this bitch. Here he is coughing in the fucking rag, dude. Here, Dr. Bo's coughing in the rag. Jimmy, you motherfucker! Okay, let me talk to the doc. Now, one of y'all told me that you can't get rail when you're using this. Okay, so that's good news. Is it Dr. Bo's? I'm not coming to the bathroom. You better talk to me right here. Okay. So, yeah, Jimmy poisoned this motherfucker. I saw you spitting out blood. Just like I thought. This guy literally has 13 IQ maximum. I saw Amy drinking something. She didn't seem to like it. What was it? It was whiskey, obviously. I wasn't there then, but I think she drank alcohol. She definitely did. Was Jimmy an alcoholic? Why was there a collection of whiskey bottles in one of the rooms? Well, they were probably from the bar. Where did the wooden paddle come from? Okay, I need to make a connection. So obviously, Jimmy made him a sandwich, and the sandwich made him spit out blood. Oh, that's so obvious they don't even let you ask. Okay. <laughs> that's so obvious they don't even let you ask. All right, let me try these two. What you said about the little girl, Amy, drinking alcohol, does that have anything to do with what you said about the whiskey bottles? Okay, this isn't good. That increases my static level. Let me see about the paddle and encountering Jimmy's sense of humor. Oh, I can't pick that option. What can I do with the paddle? He said Jimmy found it. I can't, I can't use this Amy scared outside of the room thing. What can I learn about the paddle, you fuck? So the bloodstained cloth is from him eating a glass sandwich. Which, first of all, I don't understand how you check, <laughs> how you choke. Try it again, dumb. How you choke on the glass from a glass sandwich. Feel like you would have realized there was glass in that bitch when you were chewing. Again, we know now that Dr. Bose is not the smartest motherfucker that ever lived. It's unfortunate, but it's true. Okay, let's see. Amy drinking something horrible. The whiskey bottle. What can I use the wooden paddle for? That's definitely got... Unless he used the... I, did it look like he was using the wooden paddle to break up the glass? No, he was using a hammer, wasn't he? I don't know. I'm going to have to go out on a limb on one of these motherfuckers. Let me look and see if I can figure some shit out. Oh, you can really put these two together? When you said you needed to step up Jimmy's treatment urgently, does that have something to do with the blood-stained cloth? No way. Yeah, okay, so I'm about to get fucked up if I, if I, if I, if I make one more bad pairing, buddy got to peace out. I don't think I have enough intel. I can't, wait, I can't actually ask him about any of this shit. I feel like the scrapbook and this have some connection. Because he said the scrapbook was a warning, and then Jimmy made him a glass sandwich. When you said you needed to step up Jimmy's treatment urgently, does that have something to do with what you said about the scrapbook? 
No, he's gonna fuck off. He's gonna say fuck you, though. Yeah, fuck! Dude, that's, that's, uh, that's hard. I don't think I have all the items, to be honest. And you know what I do think, also, now that I'm talking about it? That Jimmy might fucking pop off and rail me. Am I still in contact with this bitch? Do I still have one more? Oh, I think I still have one more. He hasn't told me to fuck off yet. Oh my god, bitch. I'm gonna try when this, you said dude. you needed to step up Jimmy's treatment urgently, does that have anything to do with what you said about the whiskey bottles? Fuck! Okay, so now, now, he's, now he told there? me to fuck off. Now he told me to fuck off for real. Okay, I'm running for the stairs, and then we're gonna use the fucking... The... The... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Go, 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 go! This is the only safe zone! Okay. Dude, Jimmy was cackling like a motherfucker. I am so scared to move around on the first floor that I'm actually gonna go down to the ground floor where I know it's safe. And from there, I'm gonna use the elevator up to the third floor. Y'all have got me fucked up. If you think I'm gonna use the elevator after hearing Jimmy cackle like that, hail to the motherfucking no, bitch. All right, let me look in here and see what we got on the mirror. Because, again, the mirror is, like, the most important thing you could ever have. Let me see. Okay, there go Cackles McGee laughing at something funny. I'll stop. <laughs> okay. Third floor. Is that the only info I'm going to get? So Amy's on the third floor. This is supposed to be Dr. Bose. Pretty sure he's also on the third floor. Oh, he's in 105. So there's another item I need in 105. And then this motherfucker don't have any idea who this guy is. He's in... He's on floor three, too. Okay, so two things on floor three. And one thing in 105. I might go for 105. 105 is pretty close to the fucking elevator, I think. So if I'm quick with my shit, I should be able to get to 105 and not get tickety-tickety-tossed. Also, is Jimmy locked in or not? Because I feel like maybe my move in 112 didn't actually pay off. I feel like Jimmy wasn't locked in. Maybe that bitch left for real. I don't know. I Fuck all. That's what I know. I'm going to try and get to 105 and not get railed. Please, bitch. 105 is this way. Go. Okay, plan isn't totally cracked just yet. What the fuck was... Yeah! He was following me! That bitch! That bitch! That bitch! I'm lightheaded. I'm lightheaded from yelling. Dude, are you fucking kidding me? He was camping me. He was camping the elevator. He was pissed. This motherfucker, dude. This motherfucker, dude. Am I on the third floor? Oh, yeah. This is definitely the third floor. Fuck me, dude. I'm railed. I gotta get back to the elevator to get the box. No way I get tossed instantly. This is a dead fucking end, dude. With a door that doesn't open. You love to... You made it all. I'm telling you, he's been lying about everything. Probably lying about the other stuff as well. Don't be ridiculous. He wouldn't lie about something like that. You sure about that? He lies about everything. Open your bloody eyes, Rose. That's ridiculous. Oh, that's right. Walk off. I'm not listening, Harley. You've just got it in for him. It's the truth. So that's Harvey's motherfucking ass. And that's in 307. Okay, now I don't got the box. So I'm about to be going to Toss City. Stop singing, stop singing, stop making noise, stop making noise, motherfuckers! Wait, there's only nine rooms on this floor? What the hell? So Rose is Jimmy's mom. Harvey is, I don't know who the fuck Harvey is. Uh, but he was somebody that was concerned about Jimmy's mind, if I recall correctly. And he's the third person that we're seeing in the flashbacks now. So I need to come down, get the fucking box, get the fuck out alive. Harder than it sounds, assholes. Please, bitch. Check it. Clear. Back up. I can't back up on my own. I gotta wait for the game to do it for me. Go. Good. 
turn. Grab this motherfucker. Grab it! Dude, this the the amount of time this shit takes has me pissed. I'm just leaving. There's no reason to dilly dally. If you're gonna get railed, you're gonna get railed no matter what. Bitch, no fucking way, Jimmy. Go. Go. I'm still not sure if Jimmy can toss you getting in the elevator or not. I'm not certain! I might be about to get railed. Back up to the third floor I go, assholes. Okay, alright. Okay, let me see what the fuck Harvey was on about. And Amy's also popping off. On this floor. So that's relevant information as well. So I might run into Amy too. Even though I'm not looking for her at the moment. Fuck. Which way did I go? I don't remember the path. Pretty sure it's right here? I think it's right here. It is. Go. Yes! Okay, 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 okay! This is fucking good. This is very good. This is very good. Okay, so I know Harvey's in here. But let me make sure I wasn't followed, okay? Because Jimmy definitely followed my motherfucking ass! And bought me last time. And that shit's no motherfucking joke, not even a little bit, bitches. Okay, let me search the room. Watch out for a jump scare. After I search it, watch out because I bet there's some shit that happens. What's this? Why, why are there so many storeroom keys? Like, I need 15 of those fuckers. You found a handwritten note which says goodbye. Dear mom, I'm sorry for everything. Goodbye. Okay, watch out now. No, here. Not there either. All right, let's see what's going on. Somebody here? Is anyone there? It's gotta be Harvey, dude. It's gotta be Harvey, my boy. Or Rose, maybe? I don't know, I was talking over the motherfucker. Let's see. What's your name? What's up? Wait, what the fuck? Harv, Harv, Harvinator is the hotel proprietor. Well, that kind of has me blown away, because who the fuck is Jimmy then? I thought Jimmy ran the place. Oh, that makes way more sense. So Jimmy's just a cracked fucking employee and killed off Harvey. Says goodbye. Jimmy did, obviously. I don't know. Okay, let me not staticify this bitch right away. That seems like a bad move. I saw a girl in the basement. I gotta ask about everything. Who was she? She was staying in the hotel with her family. Can you tell me who the fuck Jimmy is? Is he just a cracked employee or what? Why is there a blood-stained cloth in one of the drawers? I don't know, but it might have had something to do with the doctor. It definitely did. We already knew that. I'm just trying to figure out what this guy knows about, like, the Dr. Bose situation and about Amy. Let's just keep clicking. I'm gonna hopefully not fucking piss him off by making him want to leave by asking too many stupid questions. I found some trophies. Who won them? These have to be Jimmy's. I don't know. Seriously, we still don't know about the trophies? That's not fucking good. Who does the sword belong to? We have a display of medieval weapons. Jimmy stole it. Ah, so Jimmy stole the sword and then threatened Amy with it. Let me see about the, the Who chef's hat. Who the chef's hat belong to? The chef. Who else wears a chef hat? Oh, so this guy thinks he's fucking funny or something? Okay, let me ask you about things that I have absolutely no idea about, just in case he wants to fuck off because I asked some stupid shit. Why is there an old heater marked dangerous? Nobody's told me about this yet. I hope he has some deeds. He's giving electric shock. So the police could check it. Why would the police check it? The fuck? Okay, what what about the wooden paddle? Where did the wooden paddle come from? It was always under the counter in reception. I don't know where it came from. What? So he bought the place with a wooden paddle underneath the desk, and he never asked any questions? Oh, okay, that shit makes sense. Why was there a collection of whiskey bottles in one of the rooms? I don't remember. There's nothing wrong with having a drink. Okay, doesn't help me at all. This guy is a kind of a thwad, I'm not even gonna lie. Let me see about the turpentine and the lighter. I found a bottle of turpentine and a lighter. What were they for? They were my things. Okay, so everything that Jimmy had and used, um, he stole from Harvey, it seems like. 
I saw some suitcases in a chest. Who did they belong to? Rose. But she never used them. Oh, so Rose is Jimmy's mom. Okay. Who did the child's purse belong to? It was that girl's purse. Poor thing. Okay, this is good. This guy actually knows quite a bit. Although some of his answers are a little cryptic. This fuck. I saw the little girl shouting to Jimmy to give her toy back. Why did he take it? He knows. He probably thought it was funny. True, but ain't nobody laughing. Who drew those violent pictures? Who do you think? Jimmy. He had a very violent imagination, did little Jimmy. Oh, you think so? It wasn't just an imagination. Okay, let me see. I might actually look at the mirror after... If, if Betty starts to go cryptic on me. Hang on, let me keep let me keep working through these and I'll explain what I I'm saw doing. a man saying Jimmy had lied about the assault. Who was he? It was him. It was me. Jimmy had made accusations about the doctor. Rose believed him, but I'd heard that story somewhere before. Oh, okay. I saw Dr. Bo spitting out blood. What happened? He learned about Jimmy the hard way. Jimmy's pranks always went too far. They're not even pranks! That's legitimate assault! Attempted murder, maybe! And I'm not a judge, bitch, I know that. I saw Amy drinking something. She didn't seem to like it. What was it? I don't know anything about that. Okay, so he doesn't know about the whiskey bottles and Amy drinking it. He's already answered about the whiskey bottles. I saw Dr. Bose outside the kitchen talking to Jimmy. What was he doing? was trying to educate Jimmy. Get him to help out. Big mistake. Okay, big mistake indeed. I saw Amy outside a room. Something frightened her. What was it? She was probably scared of Jimmy. Who wouldn't be? I was scared of Jimmy when I saw that wig the first time. That fucker is bad. Dumb. Okay. I saw Dr. Bose holding a dead animal on a wire. What had happened? Jimmy said he'd found it somewhere. What he was doing with it is another story. Yeah, when you're gonna tell me right now, bitch. Oh my god, this fucking guy. I saw a scrapbook with newspaper articles in it. Who made it? Jimmy. He used to keep cutouts of news stories about abusive teachers and doctors. He wasn't a normal boy. You think? This guy got the highest IQ of anybody I've ever seen. I saw a man knocking on a door, telling Jimmy he was there to help. Who was it? Some of these are a little repetitive. It was Dr. Bose. He was supposed to help Jimmy. But Jimmy was beyond help. Isn't that the truth? But in order for you to be able to, like, use the connections that they create, you have I to listen to it. I saw the little girl, Amy, so let me click through these fire. What happened? She was burned. Pretty badly. By Jimmy with his turpentine. Okay, so that one I've already done. Let me see if there's any left that I haven't asked about yet. Still don't know about the fucking trophies. Okay, and everything else we've inquired about. So let's see if the goodbye note... Oh, he didn't have an answer for that, actually. So I can't actually ask about that. So wait a minute. He was up here talking to Rose about the assault. But, let's, uh, what assault are they talking about? Are they talking about the one on Amy, or... Okay, so let me try that and this. You said that the little girl got badly burned. Does that have something to do with what you said about the turpentine and lighter? Wait, he didn't say anything about it. Yeah, okay, so I kind of fucked up on that. Wait, so this... But he's saying... I'm actually gonna look at the fucking mirror real quick, because sometimes the mirror has some very useful tips. Let me look real quick. Because remember when that piece of bread fell and I learned about the chef's hat? I bet there might be something like that in here. Wait a sec. I'm giving y'all an extra long episode of this shit, by the way. Hope y'all enjoy it. Okay, in case you haven't already. Appreciate that. Dumb.
That's by the stairwell. It looks like top floor, maybe? I need, I need a flashback with Harvey. Oh, here's the doc. Let me see what to ask the doc about. Or where he's at. 105. Oh, that's right. I forgot. Okay, so 105 is the doc. And here's Harvey. Give me a new tip, please. What should I ask Harvey about? That looks like a notebook. It looked like maybe the scrapbook. It was hard to fucking tell. There's a couple of you high IQ gamers out there that are like, Dom, Dom, that was obviously the scrapbook and you need to link it to this, that, or the other thing. And I'm like, wait a minute, what the fuck? How do you see that in that? Because I definitely don't. But I am going to inquire about the notebook really quickly. It's got to be something with the scrapbook. Let me see what connection I can make with the scrapbook because I'm pretty sure that's what I saw. It was definitely like the binder part of this. Is it Harvey? Harvey, you motherfucker. Yes. Thank God. Okay. So it's got to be this. Jimmy. Oh, okay. Right. Oh, no. This, this makes sense, actually. I just forgot. Okay. So Harvey said Jimmy used to keep cutouts of news stories about abusive teachers uh, and doctors. He wasn't a normal boy. So now let me connect that to Dr. Bo's getting bopped. Let me see which one I should use. Let me try this. When you said about Jimmy's pranks always going too far, does that have something to do with what you said about the scrapbook? Please, let me get that. Maybe. Are you fucking... Oh my god, bitch. He's kidding around. He's actually kidding around. Oh my god, bitch. I can't make that connection. I feel like that's a connection I need to be making. About the assault. So he learned about Jimmy the hard way. What is this one? Right, okay, so here we go. So I'm gonna do the doctor outside of the kitchen. See, it's kind of difficult to, like, blink these shits together because they don't always, like, logically make sense. You know what I'm saying? Like, this Dr. Bo's outside the kitchen one, I would not think to link to anything, but when you look at what RV said about the big mistake when Jimmy was trying to help him out, that suddenly seems like it's got a relation to the scrapbook. You know what I mean? Like, there's two different shits. And you gotta make sure you read them both, otherwise you won't necessarily see the connection. What you said about Jimmy being beyond help, does that have something to do with what you said about the scrapbook? Fuck! Okay, I'm one off of getting railed. Okay, I am one off of getting railed. I'm gonna try outside the kitchen. And Jimmy not being a normal boy, dude. I don't know. When you said it was a mistake for Dr. Bose to try to help Jimmy, does that have something to do with what you said about the scrapbook? Fuck! Dude, what is that connection? Oh, I've got one more, bitch. When you said you'd heard the story somewhere before, does that have anything to do with what you said about the sword? I'm fucked. That's not it. Oh, y'all are gonna have to help me out, dude. This shit got me blown away. I don't know what the fuck! I'm supposed to be figuring out with that shit. I really don't. Those, I cannot figure out a connection in there. Maybe I'm a low IQ gamer. That isn't me! I'm trolling! Y'all thought you were about to catch me slipping. Not me, bitches. I'm just saying, I don't think the game knows what the fuck it's talking about. It's not me that doesn't know who he's what he's talking about. <laughs> okay? Facts. Don't talk to me about that shit. All right, I'm going to try and make it to the stairwell. I don't have a key for that shit, though, so I'm not really sure what my plan is there. Unless the shit's happening outside of the stairwell, I'm kind of fucked. I'm just going to try and make it to the elevator and not die, honestly. And try and get to 105, maybe, and then I'll call the episode. Unless I die, then I'm calling the episode right now. Fuck y'all. Go. No! Go. 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 Yes. Whoa! Can I get in the elevator, you think? Maybe. Go. Go, 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 go! That bitch is camping the stairs! Go, go, go! He can't get you in the alley, he can't get you in the alley. No way, no way, no way! Fuck you, Jimmy! <laughs> Press one if you just saw a high IQ gamer. If that one key on your keyboard isn't popping off right now, fuck you! Oh my god, I'm a better gamer than Jimmy will ever be, dude. Jimmy really thought I was going to try and go for the stairs. Fucking asshole. I'm not going for the stairs, bitch. I'm going for 105 and you ain't shit. There's no way he could be down here already. There's no fucking way. This is 106. Okay, there's a loop here, remember? That's not it. It's over here. This is 107. I'm fucking up. 
There's a loop. There's a loop. Right here. That's it. Fucked. This isn't good. This isn't good. I thought I knew the layout. Turns out I'm about to get tossed! No! No! I'm throwing. I'm throwing. No, you fuck. No way Jimmy's come down already. It's up here somewhere then. 101? I'm throwing! That's not where I clicked. I thought I was dead. Is Jimmy camping? Yes! Yes, 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 yes! Yes, you motherfuckers! Oh, y'all praying on my downfall. I know you are, but I popped off. I'm popping off. I'm popping the fuck off. Look at these nasty-ass curtains. Harvey, you better return those motherfuckers. Those shit's from the 80s, you fuck. We're trying to build a modern hotel. Haven't you watched Gordon Ramsay? Can I watch out? Jump scare almost guaranteed after I search. Almost guaranteed. What's this? Is that the steer? No, okay, that's the deadlock for 105. I need the third floor keys. What the fuck is that? Oh, maybe the doc was trying to poison him. Was trying to knock out Jimmy. Okay, watch out here. Oh, don't get scared. Oh. Oh. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I thought that's what it was gonna be. I, I know the connection now. Yeah, I was definitely down an item. I'm not a dumb bitch. I just didn't have all the shit I needed. Okay, in order to ask Harvey about the scrapbook, I'm pretty sure I need... Uh, Jimmy's outside, but I'm using the mirror so he can't kill me. I'm pretty sure I needed this shit with the fucking... the drugs, because I bet the doc tried to poison Jimmy. Or not poison him, but he tried to knock Jimmy out, and Jimmy didn't like that. And that's the link to the scrapbook. Pretty sure. Yeah, floor three. Amy's on floor three, but she's by the stairs. Is the doc on floor three too, or is he still in 105? I'm in 105 right now, so if I need to be talking to this motherfucker, you need to tell me now. That's the syringe. Okay, I've already got that, asshole. Where's the doc at? I don't think the doc is in this room. It's not going to show me where the doc is. You'd love to see it. Okay, and then we got Harvey, who is going to show me the scrapbook again, I'm pretty sure. Is that right? It is. Okay, this is definitely like the uh, like a binder coil or whatever the fuck. That's definitely what that is. Definitely the scrapbook. You can see the pages. Right. Medicine. Brap! And, uh... And the scrapbook. That's the connection you own. Oh my god. This, I've been recording this for over an hour. I'm, I'm hearing some shit. How the fuck does he know I'm here? I'm hearing steps. How am I hearing steps? That shit's impossible. Hello? No, okay, I think he fucked off. There's no way he should know I'm down here. There's no way. You know what I do know about and what we should all know about? The fact that this episode is getting called right here! Oh shit, y'all are pissed! Sometimes. That's just the way it's gotta be. Listen, 26% complete. Have y'all ever seen a better high IQ gamer? No, you haven't. I'll answer the shit for you. It was rhetorical, asshole. Stop. Stop. Okay. All right, y'all listen. I'm calling episode six. Sorry, I had to look over and see. Episode six of At the Dead of Night right here. I hope y'all are still absolutely enjoying this gameplay series. And if y'all are, you know what to do. Leave us love down below. 6,500 likes on this shit. And I will drop another episode of this shit as quickly as I can. Yo, we are popping off. We are finding all kinds of new shit. And honestly, we are unraveling the mystery of Jimmy's hoe ass. So if y'all want to see a bad bald cap and shitty wig, make sure you subscribe and come back for the next episode. I love y'all. I'm going to see y'all tomorrow. Make sure y'all suggest some other new games to play down below in the comment section. I'm going to see y'all later. Bye. bye Peace. Oh, shit.